Hello, my name is David Gaynor and I'm the cultural attaché of the U.S. Embassy here in Prague. And it is my pleasure to have Dr. Max Hilaire from Morgan State University. He's the director of the Department of Political Science at Morgan State. And he is here today in Prague and I have a question for Max on the UN. And I would like to know what you would expect from the Obama administration and its approach to the United Nations and the United Nations Security Council. Well, I think we have seen a, a very good deed from the Obama administration in that he's appointed a very capable, high-level, close foreign policy advisor to his administration as his new ambassador to the United Nations, Susan Rice. And in statements both uh, Dr. Rice has made and the President that they see the United Nations as a central focus of the administration multilateral approach to diplomacy. And as the President indicated, the United States is open for business and we see the United Nations as key to advancing the um, multilateral interests of the United States. So, I believe the Obama administration, unlike uh, its predecessor, is likely to look to cooperate closer with the United Nations on a number of, of uh, issues, particularly the situation in Darfur, pursuing international uh, war criminals, the issue of AIDS in Africa, uh, climate change. Um, those are core issues that I believe the Obama administration is one is likely to take a multilateral approach even though there may be some uh, bilateral or, or smaller forums in which you address some of these key issues but um, the multilateral approach is going to be very important uh, for the new administration. Um, on the Security Council, I'm not quite sure where um, the Obama administration stands in terms of the reform and expansion. Uh, the previous administration was in favor of Japan gaining uh, permanent membership on the council, um, but had not made a determination as to whether Germany should be given a similar position. So I guess all of that is under review and uh, whether we um, the Obama administration seek to expand the council to include Brazil, China, um, Japan, uh, Germany, India and South Africa is something left to be seen. But I, I believe there will be some movement uh, on the part of the administration in that recognizing the role Brazil, India, uh, South Africa is likely to play in the uh, future to grant them some recognition in the Security Council, if not as permanent members, but with an enhanced uh, presence in Security Council deliberations. Thank you, Professor Allaire. Um, one more question. What do you expect to see from the UN Security Council vis-a-vis -vis Iran and North Korea and uh, any future actions from the Security Council? Um, well, I believe both Iran and North Korea are very difficult uh, situations to, to deal with. The Security Council has adopted a number of resolutions against Iran. It has adopted resolutions against North Korea. Um, I am not sure if the Council will be able to do very much to um, enforce its demands on the, these two countries. I think the existing forums, the six party talk with North Korea, the five plus one with Iran, um, we may see the uh, Obama administration interject, interjecting directly in the talks with uh, uh, Iran and then uh, probably the keeping Christopher Hill or appointing a new envoy to deal with North Korea. Um, we may see some action in the Security Council where there are additional resolutions uh, to impose more uh, stringent um, sanctions on particularly Iran. Um, but I think much of the debate as to how to approach Iran is going to be done outside of the Security Council, um, particularly with the five plus one talks in Europe than uh, we may see in the Security Council. That's great. Thank you, Professor Hilaire. Thank you very much, and it's been a great afternoon. I've enjoyed my visit and uh, look forward to coming back. We look forward to having you back. Thanks, yeah. thanks. Okay.